gunmen attack Imo police headquarters, kill two officers, and injured others. The hoodlums, who were not pleased with the action of the policemen, opened fire at officers, killing two police officers while their gun bullets shattered three. One of the hoodlums was killed in the gun duel, but the hoodlums drove off with their members' corpse. A spokesperson for the State Police Command, Orlando Ikyoku, confirmed that the hoodlums killed two police officers. He also said that the three other policemen who were wounded during the incident had been discharged from a local hospital where they were rushed to and transferred to a better hospital in the state capital. Ikyoku added that the command had drafted cracked teams of detectives in the area and commenced an investigation. Thank you for listening to this news. Every time, it is either hoodlums exchanging fire with police or police or hoodlums break into police station and set Mom, police station Mom. in place. Always. Why is it always hoodlums breaking into police station? We have never heard that hoodlums break into army, army barracks. Have we? Have we heard that? That is to tell you that the corruption in the Nigerian police force is at the, at the climax. It's at the climax. You see that? Our Nigerian police force need to be checked, my viewers. I'm just telling you this. Our Nigerian police need to be checked. They need to be checked. Seriously. Because... It, 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 this is not the first time we are hearing this. If you check the news trending online nowadays, you will see that most of the ones we get are mostly police attack with hoodlums, police attack with gunmen. And whenever they attack, they attack and they would, after shooting, they would disappear with valuables like armory and ammunition. That is what they do. They don't. They don't attack the police force without disappearing with armory or ammunition. You see that? So, and you want to tell me that the attack is ordinary? You want to tell me that the Nigerian police force attack with with hoodlums is ordinary? Ironla, it cannot be possible. I'm telling you, it cannot be possible. Do you understand now? See, I was uh, telling someone somewhere that uh, somewhere that um, our Nigerian police force. It is possible that most most of our Nigerian police force are are, are having uh, something to do in common with these bandits we are agitating of that we are crying a hey, bandit that bandit this. It is possible that some of our Nigerian police force are partnering. Or compromising with the with the bandits, standing as informants to them whenever any attack wants to be carried out on them. Do you understand? It is possible. You can and and that is because of their kind of pay, the pay that we receive. It's it's not enough to, for them. It's not enough for them. So, our Nigerian police need to be checked. Need to be checked. Because if they are not checked, you don't be surprised. Don't be surprised at what is going to be the return match. Don't be surprised at what is going to be the return match. Because we are not helping matters. We are not helping matters. Look at, look at, you see my viewers, one thing I would like to review concerning our Nigerian police force is this, 
when it comes to matters concerning armed robbery armed robbery our nigerian police need to be properly checked because even some of our police officers are the ones supplying those robbers the weapons that they use you know that these robbers they don't have some of them don't have money to buy to buy weapons or they have but they cannot come to the open to buy it because they are not they are not licensed to go so for them to have to have it to themselves they need to now um, liaise with an insider in that police force that will now give them information on how they can break into the station and live with the armory. You to watch it now. Whenever the, the, the criminals comes to attack a police station, they don't think of where the armory is. They just go straight to where it is. That is to tell you that an insider has given them the, 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 the idea of where the ammunitions and armories are in the station. It is possible. So someone must have done that. Someone may have given them that information. Someone may have given them that information. So they are working with information. They are working with information. They cannot work without information. So that is how most of these hoodlums you see, these criminals, robbers, bandits, this is how they get the weapon you see them having. If they don't have a sponsor providing them with this, they steal those weapons by breaking into a police station. But they compromise with a force, with a force in the station. Do you understand? And that is a trick. That is a trick. So let us not be disturbed by them. Let us not be. be, be let, let us not allow them to 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 to, to tell us stories that touch, because that is the truth. That is the humble truth, and that is what they do. No doubt. Do you understand? So, my dear viewers, we don't need. To keep deceiving ourselves because we know the police force very well and what they are capable mm -hmm. of doing so let us not let us uh, don't we should not pretend as if we don't know what is happening we know we know all right we know so please my dear viewers don't forget to come in and air your own opinion concerning this issue okay click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you